What do you do when your battle chooses you? What do you do when something shows up on your doorstep that you did not directly cause, choose, or definitely anticipate? Life is not always easy. In fact, some of you today, you're here and you're going through the toughest season of your life. There will be seasons where we will suffer. There will be seasons of real pain. And the question is, how will you respond in those moments? Life is hard sometimes. Easy, it's not an option. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth giving yourself a chance. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. It's worth it. You can do it. You can do it. There's problems that we go through that cause stress, worry, anxiety, and fear, but you might be in the battle of your life. I want to encourage you. It's not about what's happening around you. It's always about what's happening inside of you. Just because you feel afraid doesn't mean you have to be afraid. Just because you feel discouraged doesn't mean you have to be discouraged. Just because you have fear doesn't mean fear has to have you. The sentence out of your mouth is a story that you are putting out. I'm not going to make it. I quit. Let's get a divorce. Business is never coming back. We've lost too many people. I've made too many mistakes. I'm a failure. Nobody can help me. I've done too many bad things. I don't know what's coming out of your mouth, but it's a death sentence. And as you continue to confess it, and as you continue to declare it, well, don't be surprised when it becomes true in your life. We have to make sure that whenever I feel, when I think a death sentence, I must speak a life sentence. Oh, I'm feeling the sentence of death. I'm feeling the thoughts of anxiety. I'm feeling the thoughts that I'm done. I feel like I've been used and it hurts and it's difficult. But when that happens, I start speaking out a life sentence. No, I'm just going to keep showing up. No, I'm going to get back up. The righteous man, he falls seven times, but he gets back up. Never give up. Never give in. Because skill can't get you past certain things. Quickness, agility can't get you. You got to have mental toughness. Pain ain't permanent. Your pain ain't permanent. You can get through this. You bigger than your pain. You better than that. Come on, you need to remember this is not the first time you cried. This is not the first time you were short of breath. This is not the first time you didn't see a way clear. This is not the first time you were hurt. This is not the first time your heart was broken. This is not the first time you didn't have enough money. This is not the first diagnosis that came up from behind. Say, I'm going to live to tell the story. This too shall pass. I will remain. I'm not going to quit. Every one of my burdens, there's a blessing on the inside of it. If you don't quit, you will win, baby. You're going to work through this. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called to be. And you're going to prove that everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you're going to prove all of them wrong. Just keep coming back. If you got nothing left to give, just show back up. Half of life, man, is just showing up. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. And if you can get through it, if you can work through your pain, I'm guaranteeing you on the other side is a reward. Pain is not permanent. Pain is temporary. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed, and you put it in a two-foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree
that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's going to get stifled by the two-foot pot. Now check this out. Ain't nothing wrong with the seed. The seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't going to like that shit. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit, so they're going to judge you. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. I respect any motherfucker that wakes up every day and work their ass off to live their life and lifestyle. Clubbing, partying, hanging out, that ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing. While everybody else is clubbing and hanging out, you got your focus right. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied because that is your commitment. That business that you want, that book you want to write, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours, that's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, become bankrupt if necessary, again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it, not what circumstances will make of it, not what other people will make of it, not what other people say it will be, not what the environment will try and dictate to you, but what you make of your life. So when you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of standing by myself, the fear of people not liking me. What else is available? Of taking a chance, a fear of losing it all. What else is available to me? People are gonna think you're crazy. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You're out here talking about living your dream. And people are laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success.